learn about the, the news getting the scholarship and what it means to you? Uh, it was fun. We were rookie night, and that's where all the freshmen, you know, do the skits about the coaches. And uh, he, at the very end, he came up and he said, we have six uh, scholarships to offer. And uh, I've been told by a lot of people that, you know, you might, you're a high percentage to get one, and I got one, so it was really exciting. And uh, he named me first, and he started with the trick kit guy and how I was on to, and so it keeps me humble, and I'm uh, very thankful for him for giving me the opportunity. Talk about just the big ride. It's, it's pr pretty interesting for you, hasn't it, the last yeah. couple of years? Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy ride for sure, you know, being a walk-on kicker. Uh, no one really, everyone back home, a lot of people saying, you know, you're kind of dumb for going here. No one really giving me a chance. And then uh, Coach Burns coming in, he gave me a chance. And uh, like I said before, he really believed in me more than I believed in myself. And so he really helped me out and got me to where I am. And so it's been definitely a crazy ride. Obviously, it's it's big for your family, but for you just personally, what's it mean to 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 earn a scholarship? You know, it means a lot. Uh, I'd always dreamed about you know playing at D1 school. Uh, didn't really want to go to a smaller school. I really wanted to play at a big school. I thought you know I could do it. And so just being able to get a scholarship shows hard work, determination, and uh, you know just a lot of time you put in to get that. So it means a lot to me. You had a really good spring. How do you feel about your preseason as you guys are breaking camp? I'm feeling pretty good. I, I, you know, we're all looking really good. All the receivers looking great, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good personally. So I'm just ready for the season to get here. Are the receivers a little more excited about this year? Oh yeah, Chip, super excited. Play? Super excited. So we all are. You still working primarily at the three? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Anywhere else was that? that no, not nowhere else. Really. Who else is there with you? Ryan Davis. And you're like a small three. Really. Yeah, small three. Yeah, Chandler, Chandler Cox kind of is a big, big three. three. Yeah, yeah. Spencer and I, those guys are big threes. We're the little threes. But you never play like a five. You would never be working there. No, not not typically. Okay. No, sir. No. Now, some of the numbers we've seen in the weight room with your speed numbers mm -hmm. are, are surprisingly good. Yeah. I say surprisingly because you just look like you're 12 years old and you're a little <laughs> dude. Are you surprised by the numbers you've been able to put up in those situations? Uh, kind of. Some, yeah, I would say yes. Uh, I remember the first time I ran that three nine. I text my friend group back home. And they were like, I told my buddy who plays it, well, have the quarterback at old school. And uh, he was like, you know, three nines like unheard of. You know, not a lot of people get that. And I didn't even think it was a big deal. I was just kind of like, okay, that's cool. And I got a three eight nine in the pro agility. And then I was like, well, this is, this is getting crazy. So all the numbers definitely surprised me, I think. And especially my 40 this year, hand time, it was a four two eight. And uh, laser time, I think it was like a four three five. So definitely increased, which is good. I need to get speed up. So that was one of the things I needed to do. Coach Lindsay spoke to us after the spring. He said that sometimes he does hold his breath when you get out in space that someone's going to just nail you because you are a smaller guy. How do you feel out there when you know you've got some big, big linebacker coming after you with the ball? Uh, I'm not worried about it too much. You know, I play football and that's what you signed up for. So if I get bopped, I get bopped. I'm going to get right back up and keep going. You feel like a pinball out there sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. But it is <laughs> what it is. So I get, I, I always hop back, right back up. So, and that's my goal too. That's one of my goals I do. What group have you been working with, do you think, the most this season? Have you been able to go up the depth chart? Yeah, I've been back and forth. Uh, me and Ryan Davis have been going back and forth. But right now I'm with the blue and he's with the orange. So we're just, you know, kind of switching off a lot. You know, last year we saw you come out strong and then it kind of fell mm -hmm. off. Do you think this is a year that you can be a contributor throughout the entire mm -hmm. season? I definitely play? think so. Throughout the whole year, yes. Do you think that's because of the way they spread the ball around, or do you think it got better, combination? I think combination, yeah. I think, you know, we just kind of, we lost the quarterback, like Coach Burns said in that interview, and so, uh, you know, it's kind of hard getting the ball around, and they needed bigger guys, and I under, completely understood, and I just wanted to help when I could. This 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 system, the, the RPOs, things mm -hmm. like that, they'll allow the wide receivers to, mm -hmm. to read things. How much do you think that's an advantage for you in, in route running and doing the things you do? I think that's a major advantage. You know, that the t defenses never know if you're actually going to hand it off, if you're going to pass it, or if the quarterback's going to run it. And so it really opens up the passing game, and it also r opens up the running game. So... I think it's a major advantage. We, we saw you in, in, in the A day game, especially, kind of get into a little little bit of a rhythm uh, yeah. with the quarterbacks. Is that something that um, that you feel like this offense has the ability to do now much more than you did the past years? Oh yes, sir. I definitely think so. So I'm excited. Tell yeah, me exciting. about that route that you run sometimes, where you kind of skip. You take like two or three skips. Oh, yeah, this in the A day game. Route, yeah. Yeah. What, what's, what, what's your goal there? What are you trying to accomplish? There? Uh, you know, I'm just I'm reading the inside to outside. And, uh, you know, if the outside there's a guy sitting, I'm never going to go out. And if the guy's on the inside or he blitzes, I'm always going to go in. And if there's nothing there, I just sit. So, it's you know, you got to read all your perifs and, you know, know yeah. where to go and have really good 
vision. They're just trusting you to make a good decision mm -hmm. about where to go there. Yes, sir. You call that a skippy route? Skippy route, yeah. Okay. And then you just hit the yellow brick road when you find it. <laughs> I do. I, do. I, do. I, do. I hit it. So. Have you taken any memorable hits this preseason? Uh, no, not really. Not All not. I ask is because Coach mentioned Jason Smith. I didn't. Know, it's a heat-seeking missile. He called him at safety, so I didn't know if by chance. Oh yeah, no, that. Jason is a heat-seeking missile for sure, but he hasn't. You know, he hasn't really gotten any of us. So, but he he will get. I mean, like we do mo mostly thud. And yeah. So, yeah. but. I'm sure in a game he'll he'll rock someone for sure. Do you frustrate any defensive backs during Bay with your speed? Not uh, able to catch you? So I think I frustrate Steven Roberts some. We mm -hmm. always joke around doing one on ones and uh, me and him always mess around and we'll do like he'll win one and I'll be like, All right, one oh and then I'll win one and be like one one. So him and I always go back and forth and you know, we just make each other better and so but I don't personally I don't know if I actually frustrate him a lot, but uh, you know, with Steven it's more jokingly, you know, we're just trying to get each other better. How what do you think you? fans can expect to see from Jarrett Stidham this season at quarterback? I think they can expect to see a lot. You know, he's a real guy. He's from Baylor. I mean, freshman year, he's crazy good. I, don't, I forgot how many games he started, but he's really? really good. And so I think, you know, a lot of people are saying uh, he can't – like some people are saying, oh, I don't know about the SEC, but I have full faith in him to go out there and just throw some dimes and even run a couple. So I'm excited.